Hey everybody, Morgana Freya here, and we are back in the world of Sky Factory 2.5, picking up mere moments from where we left off. All I did was put down some more wood to be changed into living wood. Um, we do want to, oh, not. I said wood and that's what I typed in. I want the petals. We're going to go ahead and make one more pure daisy after we put down some more wood. Okay, so we have our bucket and we have our petals and now we just need a seed. There we go. Now we will be able to make double what we have, but I'm actually going to end up moving these over here because they are just taking up too much space over here. I'm feeling a little claustrophobic over here. So as soon as this one's done, we'll move it down there. All right. Now, um, you know what we need? some more flowers. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to get this moved over here, right there. Let's make some more wood. Much better. Now let's grab some more bone meal. One more thing of bone meal. And let's do this. We've just got to get some more petals going. Because if I remember right, did we only get like. Oh, I might be confusing packs. That might have been on Magical 3 that I'm thinking of. Alright, so we'll get these going. So, uh, floral fertilizer, not magical, right here, and we'll stick these in here, and then okay, so I'll go ahead and pick up these because they'll be in the way. Those cows are so noisy. I think we are going to turn them down. Friendly creatures. Oh, much better. I mean, I don't mind hearing them, but they were just super loud. All right. All right, get our flowers all done, get them turned into petals, and then we will get busy on making flowers. So obviously the first one we need to make are some day blooms and some nightshade. I mean, technically, we don't... Well, we do. Yeah, we do. Because we need... I knew I was going to do that. Eventually, I would hit them. There we go. Give us a little bit more room here. All right. Okay. Now let's go over here and change these out. Okay, we want stone. And we are going to end up needing a ton of living rock. So once we have enough to make a few mana spreaders, we'll probably stop with the wood for a little while. 
or I'll make more in between episodes. So let's see. Let's get all these in here. All right, so mystical. Okay, so I had a lot more than I thought because I was thinking we were pretty low on petals, but we're not actually too bad considering. Okay, so just get all of these broken down into their petal forms. And there went, I think that was our wood. Well, it doesn't matter. It's both. Of, no, that was our stone. Now that was our wood. Okay, almost done here. And then we are going to need, let's see, yellow and orange. I think are the only two color. No, light blue, I think, too. All right, so we want to make day blooms. Yep, I was right. Okay, so we need, um, how many do we want? Two, four of each, maybe. Yeah, well, I think we'll go with four each. Two, three, four. And a light blue. We need four of those. Oh, and then we also want to make our mana spreaders. So let's do this one. And a mana pool right there. And we are just going to start, um, this is a pretty good area to have our mana pools. So actually we are going to go ahead and make three more of these. Now I know we can't make what I want to make, I don't believe mana, because I think we need a mana diamond for that. Oh, we just need mana steel. Do we have that? We do not have mana steel. Okay. So we just need to get enough together to make that. All right, but we are all set up. The mana distributor will go there. Now we will take this. One, two, one, one, and, and then empty hand, empty hand, and one more, empty hand. All right, so we've got our four day blooms. Now I think what we'll do is just go, oh, we haven't made a wand yet. My goodness. That's kind of important. I think we need one, two, three, one, two, three, and petals. We want blue and we want white. Okay, so we're going to stick our Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to stick it right here on top of that. Okay, we'll get this pointed at that. And then as the sun rises, we will add one, two, three, 
and 4. They should be connected. They are. And they should start producing some mana for us. And a lot of people make nightshade also, but I will tell you, I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to make some, <clears throat> excuse me, some hydrangeas. Um, they produce a lot of mana. And we are going to um, just get enough mana so that we can make the endo flames, which eat coal. And then we'll put that on um, on a timer from a dropper, so it'll just continually feed them, and that will just make our life so much easier. Okay, so we have that. Um, what do we need for the endo flame? We need see. So we need mana powder, which can be done with any of the powders floral powders, redstone, I mean just anything, gunpowder. <clears throat> so as soon as we get enough, I think we might have enough to at least do one, so you can see. Do we have enough? Nope, not enough yet. Almost there though. Do this. And I think we're going to be done with the wood for now. I think we'll just do the stone. And I do need to go cook up some more stone really quick because we're getting pretty low. And that'll give us some time for the mana to acquire. Let's grab three of these. And we'll just stick them here in our alloy smelter and get those all cooked up. Now, do we have enough to make an endo flame? Yes. Yep, only that one. <coughs> Sorry, I have a frog in my throat. All right, so endo flame. We need two browns a red and a light gray. So two two browns a red and I'm just getting enough to make some as it becomes available. Alright and then we have our powder we have our seed, okay. So now we're going to put that in there. One, two, one, and one, and seed. There we go. And we're just gonna throw this down right. We'll just throw it down right there. Should be connected. Yep. And let's give it a piece of coal. And we're actually just going to give it a block because then it'll really produce. Turn off our magnet and throw it at it. Let it eat that up. Now see, look at the mana. Even from one. <clears throat> excuse me. Even from one. That is really good. Look how quickly we were able to do that. All right, so one of those and two, one, one, and that, and empty hand, and that. And empty hand. Look how quick that was. 
Okay, so we are just going to stick these here around the day blooms. We will add more of these after the day blooms die because they are passive flowers, which is really annoying, but you know, whatever. So we'll get three of these and we'll just toss them out here. One, two, three. And they all get eaten. And now we have mana like crazy. Now the question is, can we, how soon can we make the mana steel? Do we have, oh, we have, we have enough for one. How much for two? Come on. Come on, flowers. Two. All right, there we go. Now we can make a mana distributor right there. All right, we're gonna stick this in the middle. We're gonna shift click on this and shift click on that. And now it'll spread the mana through all four of those. Now we want to make a dropper. Okay, and we're gonna stick it right there. Now what do we need for the Batania Hourglass? I know we're gonna need, okay, so we need two mana glass and a mana steel. So let's grab some glass. We need two. And do we, we have enough for one more. Woohoo! We got this, guys. All right, so let's go back to the hourglass. Put this, there we go. Now, usually I use just coal, not blocks. So I think, I think that's what we'll do because I know the breakdown of like the perfect amount. So we will do some blocks of, or some coal here. We're gonna, oh, hold on. And I need 20 pieces of sand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I was clicking even faster than I thought. All right, so we're gonna come in here. We're gonna fill this up. And then we're gonna stick this on top of it. And I don't know how long those blocks of coal will go. All right, so every time that flips around, it's going to shoot a piece of coal. And then what we can do is take a chest. I could probably take it directly out of the AE system to put it over into there, but yeah, I'm not gonna. Oh, I need item oops, conduits. Okay. So we'll stick this here and an item conduit. Yeah, see, it doesn't need those yet. So we want to always extract and insert. So I just have to remember to continually fill that up. I'm just gonna turn my magnet on until those stop. As soon as the, the little particles go away, but as you can see, it is just creating a ton of mana already. And that is really all you need, um, at least in the beginning 
well, endo flames will just keep, as long as you have the coal to feed it, it will keep you in mana for unlimited. I mean, I know there's all the other, other ones. I've created the whole redstone potato farm thing, but honestly, this is just so much easier. As long as you have the dropper and the hourglass, it's really super easy. So I am going, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I am just going to let these continue to run in between episodes, probably until this thing is full. Once those are full, when we come back, we will get some more into Batania. There's, there's lots of other stuff that we can do for sure. So we will get into that next time. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button because it really helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Sky Factory 2.5. Bye guys.